So I'm done here. I'm gonna head up to the garage, show you guys some of my equipment, show you my new arm wrestling table, and uh, we'll go from there. Shoot! Yeah, boy, here we are. Let's roll on in the garage, show you what I've got going on these days. Let's see here. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. Ch I'm gonna switch cameras because the microphone likes cutting out on this thing. And you cannot ever hear what I'm saying. So, yeah. So I've built an arm wrestling table. It's all out of wood. I'm pretty sure most arm wrestling tables are made of steel, not wood. But hey, it was cheaper. And I just wanted a, <clears throat> I just wanted a platform the same height that an arm wrestling table is, just so I could work off of and exercise and do my pulls. And naturally, I had to go above and beyond, so I topped it off with a nice leather, made little platforms, pinning pads, made the, put the poles on. Came out pretty good. This is definitely a one-of-a-kind experience. Hopefully, we never have to experience something like this in our lifetime. But I'm definitely using this downtime to an advantage for me. I've just been working out, working on my strength, and I figured I'd build my table. I'd work on some grip strength. Who knows, maybe I'll go to some terminates and uh, I'll go from there. But I'm gonna work on my grip strength, get some strength in my tendons, my elbows, all, all that stuff, because the last time I out, um, arm wrestled, I was in pain for like two weeks. But so far, I'm doing pretty good. I got a little pain in my elbow, nothing serious. Been icing it every night. Taking it easy, taking it easy. So here's my arm wrestling table. It took me about two days to build. It cost me around $100. I had this nice leather left over from my mini bike seat. I actually had tons left over. So I figured I'd put it to good use. It's got a nice top. It smells amazing. And these pads are all removable. So you can do switch. Pretty cool. I just got to finish up these handles. I think they're supposed to be six inches. Not bad. I've yet to arm wrestle somebody in it. I've just been arm wrestling myself. I'm my biggest, biggest opponent. I'm pretty strong. And there's your vanilla. That looks gross. I peed in it first. <laughs> Dis disgusting. <laughs> and see if they got something like this down there at the pharmacy. Here's 50 bucks. That shouldn't be Didn't I give you some of this? No, you got saline solution, which I told you to get, but that doesn't work as good as this does. They must have something similar to it. <sighs> What's that smell? You smell funny. You stink. <laughs> have you showered lately? <laughs> yes, I did last night. What does that smell? Garlic. Oh, you eat? What'd you eat? Holy cow, that's bad. <laughs> Woo! One of those dollar bags where you just, you know, those. It was shells and with a garlic sauce, and I can miss garlic. God. Anyway, there you go. That's how much it cost? I don't know what it cost. Okay. You don't, even know, you don't even know if I have to pay anything? No, nope, okay. you might not have to. All right. Six feet, remember, six feet. Six feet. All right, I'll go down in a bit. What's he keeping me on? I'll figure it out. Yeah. What are you, how'd you get up there? <laughs> Answer me, how'd you get up there? <laughs> you can get down. So I'm still not used to this whole six foot 
social distancing thing. It's definitely, it's definitely weird. But hey, if that's what it takes to stop the spread, six feet it is. I'll tell you one thing though. Definitely want to be farther than six feet from my grandfather because his breath reeks. I'd probably call it, it's not social distancing, social deterrent. I think that's what he is right now. <laughs> I was trying to be nice about it. I was like, has he not showered in the past like two weeks? Because he reeks with his breath. <laughs> so anyway, here's my table. I've got seven by seven elbow pads, two by 10 pin pads. These are actually, I believe they're supposed to be two by 12. And the table itself is supposed to be 26 by 36. And I made it 26 by 38, which threw off all these measurements for the angles of the pin pads. Had an absolute nightmare making this thing because WAF, I found a blueprint it was like all the specs and they said 26 by 38. So I copied the blueprint. I wrote all the measures, measurements down, made the table. I start, start drilling. I start measuring all the holes for the pin pads and elbow pads. Nothing's lining. Everything's, everything's out of whack. Couldn't figure it out. I'm like, what did I do wrong? This is why I don't build things. So I go back on the website. I look at the blueprint, the specs. 26 by 38. I'm like, what did I do wrong? So I scroll down and they have the instructions and it says the table should be 26 by 36. So somebody screwed up, did a typo. So technically it wasn't my fault. But these, I got to trim these. These have got to be six inches high, I believe. And I think I just might leave them steel. Like I said, I just wanted to build a table, just a tabletop so I could work off of. Well, now I have pads. I can work off so I can grab my tool. Like this. And then... Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh. <clears throat> yeah! But I want to give a little shout-out to Zach and Carissa. They hooked me up with this awesome machine. Oh, the magic is right here. So this is awesome because it's going to work my chest. Gives me it, This actually gives me a nice warm up. But I wanted this, the pull down. This is the most important thing right here. Because I can work my lats, work my triceps, work my forearms on my table. So shout out to those guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Trying to find workout equipment at these times is pretty insane. Because everybody's working at home, working out at home because all the gyms are closed. And then I had a thought. When all, when all this coronavirus stuff blows over, everything's back to normal, I'm gonna see, you're gonna see everybody basically giving away their workout equipment. My theory is, because they're gonna be going back to gyms. Maybe not. That's my theory. But it's a ritual for me whenever I start lifting and it's gonna be a good day. I have to crack open a nice cold seltzer. And it always has to go backwards, just like Sylvester Stallone and over the top. And when the switch goes on, I feel like another person.
So there you have it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm a little out of breath, but I've been keeping busy. It's definitely a lot of, you definitely have a lot of downtime used to your advantage. Pick up a new hobby, learn something new. It's definitely crazy times. Hope you guys stay safe. I'm Coffee at 5. I'm Justin. Stay tuned to see what I got brewing next.